Hi, I'm Randy with ReportMaster. Today we're going to talk about pre-certification. Now, if you're not having to pre-certify patients for insurance now, you might find that changing in the not too distant future. However, pre-certification is not a problem. It's simply that you have to provide good enough documentation to show that the patient needs to be treated along the guidelines of what the insurance company is willing to pay for. Let's take a look at how you would do that. What we're looking at here is a sample report that is very similar to what one of our clients sent us as an example of what they use uh, for pre-certification. Now, as you scroll down here, here you have who it is and why are they there. You know, this happened to be a motor vehicle accident. Here's a description of the injury. Here are the initial complaints. This was right after the accident. Here are the subjective complaints. So here in the office, presently, uh, her Ms. Bon Jovi's current signs and symptoms were assessed today. Her first symptom is dull, aching, shooting, spastic, spastic tingling, and cramping pain in the neck bilaterally. She reported that the pain radiates into both shoulders, etc. It goes on to describe specifically the symptom. Here's the second symptom. Here's the third symptom. Uh, here's the fourth symptom. And then as you scroll down, here you have objective evaluation, grip strength, and various uh, things here, postural, range of motion with the actual, with the norms, but what was found today. Scrolling down further, you have uh, certain orthopedic tests were done here, and uh, palpation evaluation. Here we have assessment, treatment, and future care plan. So basically, it's just a good, complete report. Now, you could also do this. By the way, what we're looking at here uh, is a soap note type of a report from ReportMaster, where you have, you'll, you'll notice it, it's a little bit more concise and has certain headings that are, that are geared for a note, even though this one's an initial visit, or it could be a re-exam. But if I show you what a report looks like, a report is a little bit larger font style, and it goes into typically a little more detail, but it's, it's, and it's a little bit more impressive. Many of our clients prefer to use the report format, as you see here. Either one you can use, but, but there's another thing I want to encourage you to do, and that is when you're doing orthopedic testing, um, in, if you have a way of describing what the test is for and why you do it and how you do it and what shows a positive finding, that can actually work for you. Realize that when you send a report, when someone is having to look at your documentation, they're typically not your friend. They're looking for weaknesses. Uh, they may be looking for things that they don't quite understand that they can then uh, spend time asking you about. And if you have it all described, then you've really given them all the data. And in the case of certain individuals like medical doctors, you're actually going to teach them something and you're going to look very good as a result. So, and as far as producing this type of thing, I'm just going to t show you a very quick thing here. Here we have muscle testing where you put the numbers in. Here you have orthopedic tests. If I were to click positive left, here it's going to report it like you saw in that note, the first example I showed you where it didn't go into great detail. But this is for description and this is for diagnosis. This will describe how you perform it. This will show what a positive finding indicates, <clears throat> which would give you the description, something like what you see here in a report. And uh, the point is, for pre-certification, simply produce a very complete, uh, full report. And if you have a system that really does it well, you could do that kind of thing in five or 10 minutes at the most. All right? So feel free to call us if you have any questions about this. Please give us a call today, toll free, 877-742-9215 for a live demonstration. Thanks.